Hello, and welcome to your communities, your stories. My name is Yali, and in this episode, I read an extract from a Miss B. Wright's blog post about the film Kiteke. Combine love, a bit of humor, 80s nostalgia, and a pertinent social message about infrastructure and the development, and you get Kiteke. Kiteke, which means draining a can, chats the escapades of heavily pregnant Atreya, played by Lydia Forsen, and her husband, boy, Ajiti Anan, who are hell-bent on getting to Atreya's village to give birth. But they miss the weekly train, which forces them on an adventure filled with comic and nail-biting moments. This Ghanaian film was first screened in March 2017 in Accra, and had its European debut at the London Film Africa Festival in October to rave reviews. Written, produced, and directed by relative newbie Peter Sedufia, Kiteke takes a serious look at Ghana's failing train system and gives a human face to the plight of ordinary Ghanaians who have no choice but to use it. The idea behind the film came from Sedufia's contrasting experiences of accessing transport as an adult visiting Finland and as a youngster in his village in the Volta region. When I was growing up, it meant that if you missed a car, you would have to wait a week for the next one, and that meant missing market day, he told Ms. B at the festival sidelines. Keen to draw the government's attention to this social problem, but aware that the direct approach may alienate those in power, said if you attend to comedy. I thought it was important to make it satirical and give authorities something to laugh about but while they laugh i also wanted them to look at the subtext and reflect on that he said laughter is universal and this 98 minute film is beautifully funny it captures the humorous interplay between a young couple navigating through marriage and the imminent responsibilities of parenthood said if you ask clear about his target audience this film is a story about ordinary Ghanaians and explores universal topics of love, hopes, and fears, and the highs and lows of relationships, which everyone can relate to. Kiteke is also a showcase of the cinematic splendor of rural Ghana, her traditions, music, and people, and proves that Ghanaian films do not have to use their Hollywood template to be brilliant. Much of the film relies on raw acting talent, which actors forcing Anan, Fred Amugi, and Joseph Ochiman have in droves. But also key is the animation, the camera work, and the skills of musicians such as Wallasis, whose opening sequence complements the kinetic pace of the film. One thing I didn't want to do was satisfy a European fantasy of what an African film should be like, said Sedofia. I knew that could limit my international appeal, potential award nominations, or commercial success, but I do not want to be that type of storyteller, he said. Instead, it seems Kiteke speaks to a generation of filmgoers that are tired of sexually explicit films. Because the film is set in the 80s, and it means a lot of older people could relate to it, he said. I think with a lot of films nowadays, there's an assumption that if you are making a love story, it has to be showing sex. With Kiteke, there's a demonstration of love, but not through sex. And when the film came out, it seemed to be what Ghanaians have been yearning for. It is therefore easy to see why Kiteke, Sedufia's first feature film, has been hailed as the best movie to come out of Ghana in a long while. Thanks for listening.